probably know what this video is all about. Lately, there has been, been rumors about a Paper Mario game for the Wii U. My thoughts? Yes! <laughs> okay. Okay. Fangirl, put it aside. Yes. I would love to see a Paper Mario 5 for the Wii U. Um, this is kind of like a... What, what was it? It's kind of like a game update. They're gonna make this a new play playlist. So, yeah, I just be talking. Um, Paper Mario. If you don't know what Paper Mario is, been living on the walk. Yes, you been. Okay. It's an RPG made by an intelligent system based on our Mario, but due to the title, we made our paper. It ain't saying, like, like, the all made our paper, they recognize that, but it ain't the main thing. It just say Paper Mario. It's just there for the graphics. Um, the first game came out on the 64 as one of the last games on the console before the game came out. Uh, it sell well, as I heard. That was a good game. And I love that game. Thanks for my cousin Jeffrey for giving that game. That was an awesome game. Love that game to death. Um, then I asked him when I got back from vacation in the summer. But when I got back from my cousin's house. Um, Asked him does he have gas in the door and gave that to me. I fell in love with that game. I played that game non-stop. Unless the guy goes to take a nap. That game was epic. Gas in the door has the best story. Well, best story, but I get to Super Mario just being this that. The best story. Good character development. I love the characters. The thing I like about people Mario is that you don't have like like Paper Mario, Mario's friends, like, like Toad or Luigi with him. No, he got enemies from the mainstream series, but he made, but they gave him a character. Like, there's this Dumbario, Dumbella, Coots, and I don't know how that story. Heck, the thing is that Thousand Door improved on the first one was the gameplay. It got an audience thing. Actually, let's, let's be honest here. Thousand Door improved everything from the first game. Graphics, they were they colorful this time, they don't look pixelated. Character development, they you don't watch the personality when they when they join your party. That's what I like about Thousand Door. And I like the fact that the Paper Mario series wasn't like um the Thousand Door, you say the world. You ain't seen like the kingdom, you ain't seen the Christmas speech. You say the world. That's what it is. Why Mario animation we just save Princess Peach. And Paper Mario is save the world. Let's get to Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario. Even though the gameplay is 2D, I love that game when I was young. I don't really like it as Thousand Door, because the Thousand Door is fun. And I beat that I beat the first two games. I never beat Super Paper Mario. Um, but I did watch videos of the rest of uh, Ch Chuck Conroy's Let's Play. I love the story for that game. Hey, in my honest opinion, if, if Super Paper Mario was a RPG White Thousand Door, I can you can easily give it a name like Paper Mario Flip Side Dimension. It'd be a good story for a game. Too bad that and in the places need to be more originality. They they weren't really wow like Thousand Door like the, the Grist Pit, the Grist Pit, and the Train. What's up, Dad? In, in the set. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Super Paper Mario was a good game. This despite is a despite being a 2D platformer, instead of being an RPG. It had an RPG elements, but still platformer. Um, then came Sticker Star. Sticker Star was a bad game. Now it's a good game in general, in general. But as a Paper Mario game, it sucks. It really sucks. Number one. Doesn't have a good story. Two, not interesting. Three, it's too generic. You know what's what? What Paper Mario? The only thing that was not generic in Paper Mario One was it was um, Flower Fields. I think just a bit and completely sky 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 shy guys toy box. Yeah, I think that was the name. 
Thousand Dwarf, you got Gliss Pit, you got the Bromley Woods, you got Chapter 2 got Bromley Woods, Chapter 3 got the Gliss Pit, Chapter 4 got Twilight Town, Chapter 5 was a jungle thing, it was, it's something that Mar been using. Chapter 6 got a train, which went to like a, not a Hollywood place, but a long place, what's up, buddy? Um, chapter 7, you went to freaking space. 8, you went to this, the final chapter, you went to this little, um, castle that's just basically right behind the thousand door. Read it. Just read that whole title. <laughs> Super Paint Mario wasn't really original in places. It was original with the World Zone, but still, it's something that you basically see. Sigur Star, on the other hand, had a lot of other places. Now, let's get to Paper Jam. Now, I haven't played the game, but it's a good game on the Mario Luigi side, but the Paper Mario side, not really. See, the Paper Mario side, it wasn't original. It's Mario and Luigi, but with Paper Mario in it, that's it. I mean, it's not a bad game. I can take that a lot more than Sticker Star. Heck, it's better than Dream Team. Dream Team ain't a bad game, but Paper Jam was better. But, my thoughts on this one. Well, number one, here's, here's the top 10 things. I haven't really skipped this one, but top 10 things. Number one, interesting characters. Um, that was the biggest thing that was in the door. It had interesting characters. Even though you see these type of races, species, I'm not trying to be racist, um, from many Mario games. I shouldn't say that, sorry. But they were interesting. I feel sad with when, um, what, I forgot his name, Captain, Captain Marvel, when, when he went out to sea and his wife died. That got me sad. I mean, I mean, I saw that clap a lot of times in movies and Stuff. But for a Paper Mario game, oh, in a Mario game in general, wow, that got me. And I mean, and he did, and he feels sorry for himself. He should have been, he should have, he should have stayed. So that's one, two, interesting places. And that, uh -huh. can you shut my door? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Oh, there it is. My code is right here. Inter two, interesting places. Has something like we haven't never seen before. Um, similar as that. Three, ha have the RPG elements back again. Like, have RPG, have Stalagia's Door gameplay, but have some new gimmicks to it. It will work. Four, graphics. The graphics don't really change for Paper Mario games. Well, I want to see something high quality. If you remember the Sticker Stars logo, what, what Paper Mario looked like on the boss art? He kind of looked updated. He kind of looked like someone cut him out instead of just being drawn and just giving him some Photoshop things. That would be pretty cool. I said three things, right? Yeah. Uh, I would say ten things, but here's a fifth thing. A freaking good story. This is what we need in Paper Mario games. I don't think Mario Luigi can get stories. Story, sorry, what's that? Can't touch Paper Mario story. Paper, Mario Luigi always ends with a Bowser battle. A Bowser battle. With something new. And it gets repetitive. Think, even though people like, well, Paper Mario 1 had Bowser as the final boss. Well, in that game, that's the first one. It's the first one. Second one, you gotta go all out. You gotta have something new. You can have Bowser in the game. You can battle him, but he's not the final boss. That's what I like about in the second one, you got this freaking creepy Shadow Queen. who's a demon. And she, this is what I meant about Paper Mario. He saved the world. And I don't think, <laughs> I just ran with Sonic. I don't think Sonic can go against him, go against that demon. But still, that was the best game. Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, you got this clown with a beauty. Oh, we, we didn't take him seriously. But as time went on, you took him seriously. Because cause he was evil. I don't know why, but why Mario and Luigi 3 and Paper Mario 3 had thoughtful and dimensional, or has a, a fan phase. That's 
really weird for a third game to have a fan failure right there. I don't know if I'm Um, right after that, what was, um, oh yeah, Sticker Star. Sticker Star, we had Bowser as the main villain. Here's the thing. You know what Sticker Star story? Here's the thing. All the three games, the first three games, you can explain them in two sentences, three sentences or something like that. A paragraph. Sticker Star on the other hand, Super Mario Bros. 1 combined with Paper Mario Story. Just not interesting with stickers. That's one sentence. For Paper Mario 5, I want it to be interesting. Give us something, something else. Give something new. To, I mean, don't. Here's the thing. Don't let you give me a model. You know what to do. He's awesome. He made Mario. But don't make him. Don't make him as a real as a project. Don't make Sticker Star sucks. If you think about it, Sticker Star was a good game, was a good Paper Mario game, like better than Stabs and Door, all that will be caused by Sugar and Mother. I'm sorry, but still, don't make him the charge of the game. You're gonna make the fifth one, give us a good, really good story with really good writing, that's all you need. Because if, if you guys, like my friends know, I'm, I'm the writer of KD's World, right? My friends compared that book to something like Harry Potter. With me, when I was in the summer, I compared the first book to the first Paper Mario game. That was in the door. That really made me, yeah, I need to remake this book. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my thoughts on Paper Mario 5. So, yes, please make it good, Nintendo. See ya. <laughs>